Welcome to Oksana Live TV Q&A section. Um, in this part of the show, I get to pick the most interesting question that comes from our wonderful members. And this week's question, I had chosen a question from Peter, and Peter comes from Dominican Republic, city of Santo Domingo. And Peter writes, only one Russian woman I wrote back. I sent email directly to her email. After a few emails, she wanted $3,000 for visa, then $1,500 for a ticket. I sent the money and never heard again from Vic, and she had not written again. I found out it was a scam. Is there a way to get my money back? How can I protect myself from future scams, and how can I determine if a woman is scamming me? Can I trust your company, and how can I be sure that your clients are sincere women, but not scammers? I want to believe again. Peter, this is an excellent question. And in fact, in fact, there are several excellent questions. And I truly feel sorry for you for the things that you went through. And I feel sorry for you that you've been taken advantage of like that. You know, there is a lot of people, actually, a lot of guys, unfortunately, went through this same experience. And um, a lot of guys actually spent a lot more money than that. Um, sent it. I know some uh, some stories where people sent twenty, thirty, forty thousand dollars, and they've been taken advantage of like that, the same way as you have. And they realize the same way that uh, they've been scammed. And it is horrible, and I feel truly sorry for uh, for for you. There are many other scams on the internet, and so-called Nigerian scams. Maybe you heard of them. Where, um, where you get email that uh, your relative had died or somebody needs to transfer a large amount of money uh, to your account to uh, pretty much just transfer money to, uh, to your country and they're asking for assistance. Or maybe you heard uh, about lottery scam. It is also a Nigerian scam where uh, you are being notified that your email had won some, you know, large amount of money, or uh, for some uh, for some way or for for some drawing you had uh, you had earned you had won some money, and uh, people are requesting as and to send some money uh, to them to cover their wire transfer, and basically a lot of people have been taken advantage of uh, like that by these uh, these particular scams. Hopefully, it is not your case. And we also know uh, about bri Russian bride scams, and this is what Peter is talking about. So basically, how does Russian bride scam works? Uh, you are uh, you're getting introduced to somebody over email. You meet them on usually on some date, a free dating website, and they give you their email address, and you start talking to them. And after a couple of emails, two or three emails back and forth. You get an email from this woman that you've been talking to and she's basically saying that she's in love with you and she's uh, tricking you and she's uh, giving you a full self se sense of belief that she's in love with you. And this is where it starts. Um, she usually asks for money and she wants to meet with you. She's asking for uh, money for her visa, for airline tickets. And normally those type of women, they... Um, they, uh, during the correspondence, the course of correspondence, they are trying to uh, to introduce you, so to call, in uh, those emails to her family members, where she would be t telling you that her father and mother are really poor and she cannot afford a lot of things, or her grandma is going through a surgery, or her mother, her father, or somebody close, close relative is going through the surgery. So she would be trying to prepare you that her life is so miserable she, that she doesn't have and cannot afford a lot of things in life. So you would feel really, really deeply sorry for that person. Today we will talk about visa and ticket scam. And this is what exactly Peter is talking about. So his first question is uh, whether or not he can get his money back. Well, unfortunately, um, if you send money via Western Union or MoneyGram system, then you probably will not get your money back. Um, there is, um, unfortunately, there is in some cities, there is a Western Union agents that are uh, running uh, a lot of scams themselves, and uh, they would be accepting fake IDs from people who are uh, receiving money, and they would be running those transactions. They would be issuing them money, and they would be getting their cut. Um, in some cities, I know personally, in some cities, uh, situations like that had happened. Um, so to get money via Western Union, if you send them via Western Union or MoneyGram, most likely you will not be able to get your money back. Uh, you certainly can try to punish that person by, um, you know, by uh, hiring a ma mafia or whatever, you know, to, um, you know, to do some bad things to her. I am in no way uh, proposing you to do that. <laughs> I am in no way 
uh, supporting any mafia activities and I do not have any contacts with them. So um, I do not uh, uh, do not ask me for any referrals because sometimes I do get emails from guys and they ask me if I know someone. I know someone to um, you know to refer them to uh, so they can punish the person who uh, screwed them up, uh, who scammed them this way. And in your particular case, Peter, you have you should have checked for visa requirements for your country because um, people, uh, citizens of former Soviet Union, they do not need to have visa to enter Dominican Republic. Uh, all former uh, USSR countries can enter Dominican Republic without visa, except for Belarus. Belarus is the only country that uh, Dominican Re uh, Republic requires to have a visa uh, to in order to enter. So uh, in this case, you actually you wasted, wasted a lot of money, three thousand dollars. You wasted like that, uh, supposedly for her visa. Now the other part, the other two parts of the question that Peter writes is um, says, how can I protect myself from future scams, and how can I determine if woman is scamming me? Uh, this is actually a two-part question, and um, it does take a lot more time than we have here in this uh, in this particular part of the uh, of the show. So, in order to access all this information, I actually have pre-recorded webinar that we have hosted only a few months back, and I had uh, a guest of honor, if you can call her a guest of honor. She is actually she is um, a former man manager of scam agency uh, based in Ukraine and she was managing several offices in Ukraine where they had scammers and you know um, scamming uh, they had women who were scamming guys and they were training them how to do it correctly so um, that webinar I will include link here below this video uh, so you can access that if you want to get some additional information but I will be brief here with just key points on how you can protect yourself in the future and how you can determine uh, whether you're being scammed or not. So to be brief here, um, let me give you just four key points how you can determine whether or not you are being scammed. Uh, so number one is st try to stay away from free dating websites because on those dating websites nobody is filtering anything, nobody is uh, checking any profiles and you about 80%, I would say 80-90% of those women they are being scammers and they are there on those websites just with for one purpose, to scam and take money from you. Uh, so they, they are willing to give you their email address. In fact, they will be encouraging you to take uh, uh, to take you away from this website, and they would uh, try to get you uh, get you um, uh, get you send them money. And they will. Uh, the second one is a second point, very important one is like I said at the beginning of the show that they will try during the process of correspondence they will try to get you close to uh, to their family so basically they will try to visualize how bad her life is how uh, how uh, great her uh, her parents are and how they cannot afford to give her a good lifestyle or she would be talking about her grandparents or her grandmother normally it happens very very often where women they would be telling you that their grandmother needs a uh, surgery the surgery is another way to scam money out of you and a lot of guys they feel sorry for that and they send large amounts of money uh, to help with so-called surgery and the third point you have you have to watch for is um, does it sound too good to be true look at her pictures if they are really if she looks like a photo model and somebody who could be on the cover of, ma of a magazine uh, we all attracted to beautiful people of course I mean me you everybody else but try to think is it could it be really, truly real if this person is really could be looking for uh, a man to uh, find a family with? Or another thing is look at the age gap. If this super hot, beautiful woman uh, who could be a model easily and you are 30 or 40 years uh, older than her and she's telling you that she's in love with you, seriously, uh, what sounds too good to be true, most likely it is, um, it's not really true. So try to stay uh, within the 15 years um, age gap. Normally I recommend 10, 15 years. Do not go uh, above that. Try not to go above that. But if if woman is uh, with a large age gap telling you that she's in love with you, most likely she is, she is scamming you. And another fourth one and really huge one, a lot of guys, guys actually get in those type of letters. 
um, they are getting so-called letters from the agency, supposedly agency, where a manager is explaining them that woman, uh, she, uh, she had a certain amount of money on her account and she was paying for letters and now her account is empty and she cannot afford to pay for translations anymore and they are asking you if you would be willing to send them money to cover those translations and a lot of guys, I'm serious, a lot of every, every other guy is being, uh, being really trusting and sending money like crazy to, to those agencies and in fact, that woman really, she has no idea that she's talking to. In fact, a lot of women don't really exist, supposedly, you know, those ones that you are talking to. So if you get a letter from the agency saying you that woman's account is empty, just know for yourself and make a note for yourself that this is a 100% scam. Do not go for it. And another big one where a lot of guys actually miss uh, being misled is uh, when they are members of international dating agency and where Russian women are being present and that agency uh, supposedly uh, guaranteeing that those women are real. Uh, so those ones are very difficult to determine whether or not you are being scammed. And um, we, uh, we covered that particular part uh, in detail in that exact webinar I was talking about. It calls you scam me not. And uh, link about uh, to this webinar is right here below this video so you can access it and we are talking in details about those particular international uh, dating agencies and how you can how you can determine uh, whether or not you are being taken advantage of and uh, that particular uh, that manager of the scam agency she is talking uh, in detail about how they are scamming how they were scamming guys through those agencies as well this is a large topic and we really need to give a lot of time to this topic as a lot of guys nowadays, they are being taken advantage of by Russian women. And I, again, once again, I feel sorry for you that you, uh, you are the one who are being taken advantage of uh, uh, like that. But we can go on and on about this topic and there's really a lot of information, just too much information uh, to talk about, um, you know, to talk about and how not to get scammed. But the biggest piece of advice I can give you to guarantee that you will not get scammed is this. Get a pen, piece of paper and pen and write it down. One piece of advice. Okay, ready? Do not send money to any Russian women. Simple as that. Just do not send money. Refuse to send any money to support any Russian woman if you haven't met her in person before. If woman is serious and she is truly serious, she will find a way to meet with you, whether it is in her country or maybe she will find some other ways, but refuse to send money, any money to any foreign women. If you want to meet with her somewhere uh, overseas, there are ways without sending that money to her over Western Union or MoneyGram. And there are ways for you to actually pay with the credit cards and get your money back if something goes wrong. So we are talking in details about this again in webinar and there is just, just too much information to cover here. So I'm giving you one, the most important key points. Now the other question, very important question that Peter asks is, can I trust your company and how can I be sure that your clients are sincere women but not scammers? And this is a good one, Peter. <laughs> so let me give you again a few key points um, and how you can determine whether or not you can trust us. Well, number one is uh, all our clients um, actually triple checked. Yeah, when we get a profile of someone we don't know or someone who was not referred to us, we do uh, we do an interview. And you can actually see on the website that we uh, that uh, we have Skype interviews with women posted there with their profiles, so you can get a clear picture whether or not they are real or whether uh, whether or not those photographs are just fake photographs of women. And uh, the second one is actually a very important one, and I'm, I'm very proud to say that, but we do get a lot of referrals from our past clients. So if somebody was married uh, through our agency, they do refer all their friends, and all their friends become our clients. And very often, uh, we get uh, friends refer friends, uh, mothers bring daughters, daughters bring mothers, and all the relatives and all the way, uh, we get tons of referrals. And when we get those referrals, normally our clients tell us about their friends that they are referring. So they're giving us uh, some information about them. 
So this way we can build our own opinion about that person and we can uh, share sometimes those juicy details about those people with you when you become our clients. So we do get a lot of referrals and we do get a lot of inside information on our members and we have all that in our archive so we can always give you our input about um, each profile that we have in our database. And the third point I want to make is um, we do screen every correspondence that is going to through our database, every email that goes through our database. And uh, this way we can see if there is something really kind of iffy is going on or if there is any red flags. If we see any red flags coming in email from a woman, we check her right away. We check again, uh, triple check her, her information and we determine whether or not she is, um, you know, being confused with something or she is actually could be someone of danger. So if we feel that somebody is uh, not exactly honest, then we yank that profile and that woman out of the system before you even get introduced to her. And I know some of you feel that this is kind of invasion of privacy when we're going through your emails. But as you can see, this is a way for us to protect you. And this is for your own protection. So we screen all those emails to make sure that our clients do not get taken advantage of. And number four, how I can tell you that we, are, um, we do have sincere profiles in our agency. Why don't you ask our own clients? Why don't you uh, check out our uh, testimonial page where our clients, a lot of our clients actually post their email addresses together with their testimonials so you can contact them. It is really, uh, it is really very kind of them. They're just grateful to us for helping them to find their true love. Uh, you know, so don't, don't take advantage of their time, but they are willing to answer some questions that you might have. So check out our testimonial page, see what other people have to say about us and contact them if you need to. A number five key point is this. We do have rules in our agency. And one of our rules for gentlemen states that you, you are prohibited from sending any money to our women. Only with our permission when we are telling you that it is okay to send any money. But without that, you are prohibited to send any money to our members. And a second rule, actually that's rule for women, they are prohibited from asking any money from you. We do not allow any women to ask any money from our gentlemen. So each member who signs up with our agency will make it clear right away <clears throat> for that woman that she is not allowed to ask any money from any gentleman. So as you can see, for scammers, it is not really profitable <laughs> to stay with us. They, uh, they do get yanked out of our system if they try to pull any triggers. And we do not allow any women to ask for any money. So normally scammers, they stay away from our agency, which is good, you know, makes our work a lot easier. And I also want to remind you, if you want to get really complete and in detail information, tons of information about scammers, I really recommend you to check out this webinar that we hosted a few months back with, uh, with a, a scam manager operator, with a former scam manager operator, her name is Kate. And um, you can access all this information, it is in English, so you can get all this information and find out all about scammers and their activities and how to protect yourself in the future and stay safe. Peter, I want to thank you for this excellent question because uh, this question is really, really important and um, I hope this question really helped a lot of people out there, everybody who is watching right now and I hope you get this message. Um, you know, try not to send any money to any Russian women and you know, Peter, um, I understand that uh, sometimes those negative experiences, they can really be, really, they can wound our hearts and our soul. But please try to stay positive and try to keep, keep searching for that special someone because I promise you she is out there and she is looking for the man just like you right this second. If you want to see more great episodes like this, log in to oksanalove.com and sign up for Oksana Live TV to make sure that you're on our list and being updated every time when we have a new episode coming up. If you like this video, make sure to share it with your friends and let the world know about us. And we really appreciate your participation. Thank you for watching and I will see you next week on Oksana Live TV.